I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my pantry. Today we got another food bank haul for you guys. Mondays are usually one of the great days to go because they, over the weekend they have collected all the expired food that all the grocery stores are going to be getting rid of. So we went and did a food bank haul today. Let's get on in it and I'll show you what I got. So the first thing I got here, they have a bunch of these little tortillas that are in bags that would be perfect for some salads. And they had unlimited. You could get however many you needed. So I got a six for some salads. They had a bunch of potatoes. So I got 10 pounds of potatoes, Idaho. These breakfast bars. I had got three, one for each kid. They had bunches of butternut squash and spaghetti squash. And there was no limit. You could get as many as you want. So I got three of these and then four butternut squash. They had some butter, so I got half half a pound of butter, gallon of milk, 2%. This one's not even expired yet. That's exciting. The kids love tacos, and they had some blue taco shells. Thought those would be fun, so I got those. Some organic spaghetti noodles. Eight croissants. Oh, I'm sorry. Eight croissants. And then the monster cookies. Holy moly. I had those. Got some cantaloupe. These do have some mold spots on them. Just a little bit. So we'll just probably get these cut up tomorrow and have them for breakfast. They had a giant watermelon bin full of instant potato flakes. How do you guys feel about instant potatoes? Do you like them? Do you not like them? I don't mind them. I think they're quick and easy. Brioche. Anytime they have brioche bread, I usually get that. And this was baked in France. Oh, fancy. Baked in France. Ended up in Montana. So I got slider buns and hot dog buns. They had unlimited amounts. You could get however many you wanted of these little portions of broccoli. And cauliflower. So I got five of each. Two jars of Prego homestyle Alfredo sauce. That should be good. And then let's get into the meat. I got some fresh chorizo here. Usually anytime they have chorizo, I get it because it's my favorite. We have some peppered uncured bacon. Now you can see with these ones, you can always tell when the vacuum seal is broken because it's a little loose. It's not nearly as tight against the meat product. So that way when you go to thaw, it's probably a hole in there or something. So it's more susceptible to freezer burn. So this is something that I would want to use right away with that seal being broken. But peppered bacon on a croissant is for like a BLT waiting to happen. Only in Montana do you get wild game at the food bank. So this is a two pound pack of venison. So we'll use that. And then I got a ribeye steak, grass fed ribeye steak. Open Nature is a pretty expensive brand because they're high quality meats. $15.39. All right, so even though it's expired, that's still some good stuff right there. So we're going to be cooking this up. And then bison steak. I have had bison burger, but I have not had a bison steak. So this is a bison strip loin steak. Oh, this does not have a price on it. I'm always excited to see what the price of stuff is, but this should be good. It'd be a good comparison against bison and beef. So we'll have to cook those up in another video. And then I got a giant rack of lamb. Grass-fed French rack of lamb. Now when it says French, that means that it has the bones exposed. So it makes for a nice, clean cut looking rack when you cook it. So that's it folks. That's my food haul for the week. I think we did pretty good. I'm gonna be participating in the Three Rivers Challenge of pantry cooking only for the month of January and February. All right guys, so that's my haul for today. Give me a like and a subscribe if you wanna see more food bank hauls like this. And I'm going to be cooking some of this food up later so you can see exactly what to do with this food and how you cook the stuff you get at the food bank. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.